Hardcore Pawn is an American reality television series that aired on True TV for nine seasons, from its debut in August 2010 until its cancellation in April 2015. The series documents the day to day events as they unfold at the family owned pawnbroker, American Jewelry and Loan, located on Eight Mile Road in Detroit, Michigan. Hardcore Pawn enjoyed a popular reception, attracting more than 2 million viewers during the pilot episode and averaging over 3 million during the course of its run. To this day, Hardcore Pawn remains one of True TV's most successful shows and holds the record as the most viewed reality series on the network. The owner of American Jewelry and Loan, star of the series and later credited as one of the show's producers, Les Gold, quickly became a familiar name among the show's audience and along with his son Seth Gold, celebrated their rise to fame in Hardcore Pawn. Over the course of nine seasons, the Gold family would also entertain viewers with family dramas, as well as keeping viewers hooked with their many curious finds and sales. Now, with the show long since been canceled, many of their regular viewers and fans of Hardcore Pawn have been wondering what happened to the Gold family. The burning question for most is whether or not the family-operated pawn shop is still in business, and how the family has been doing since the show went off the air. Well, for those interested and curious about the Gold family, we dug up everything there is to know about them, which includes their most recent activities, and it seems that they're still operating their business in Michigan. Born on the 20th of June, 1950, Leslie Les Gold is the grandson of a pawnbroker who once had the pawn shop Sands Loans on Michigan Avenue in Detroit. Les followed his grandfather's footsteps entering into the pawnbroking business to become a third-generation pawnbroker and salesperson. His first sales at Sam's Loans happened when he was only seven years old. Inspired by his predecessors, Les went on to become one of Michigan's most successful pawnbrokers. But as Les would admit, was it not for his grandfather's influence in his life, he might never have made it as a businessman. Unfortunately, Sam's Loans closed its doors at some point, as it is now a defunct shop that can no longer be found in Detroit, and according to recent reports, the same building that once hosted Sam's Loans is now being renovated for use as a restaurant. It seems that it will feature a pawn shop theme, though, inspired by the popular aforementioned reality series. While Les continued with the family business, pawnbroking wasn't his initial baptism into business, as he started his first entrepreneurial endeavor at the age of 12, back when he was still attending school. During this period of his life, Les bought pizzas at a local parlor and sold them by the slice to the students in his school. Les matriculated in 1968, and in 1975, he married Lily, with whom he's raised two children, son Seth and daughter Ashley. Gold opened the doors of his first pawn shop, American Jewelry and Loan, in 1978 at the 8 Green Shopping Center on the famous 8 Mile Road in Oak Park, Michigan. For the next couple of years, Les would enjoy fair success, but in 1993, he decided to move his business back to his hometown of Detroit. Here he established American Jewelry and Loan in its current location, with which all the viewers of Hardcore Pawn would be familiar. As the years passed, Gold would become even more successful and expand his pawnbroking business to four more locations, eventually employing over 200 staff to serve an average of 1,000 customers a day. Naturally, Gold's success afforded him better opportunities, and in 1998, he launched an advertising campaign that would air in ad breaks in between segments of The Jerry Springer Show. While this, of course, attracted the interest of potential customers, it also grabbed the attention of the producer, Richard Dominic, who worked on the Jerry Springer show at the time. Interested in the daily drama, events, and curious finds of American jewelry and loan, Dominic approached the owners with the hopes of producing a reality series that focused on their daily business. Initially, Gold Sunset didn't trust Richard and was adamantly against the production of what would later become Hardcore Pawn, but Les decided against his son's wishes and eventually went through with Dominic's proposal. Naturally, Les considered that it might be a wasted golden opportunity that he couldn't just turn down, and he certainly wasn't mistaken. The pilot episode of Hardcore Pawn aired in 2009, setting a record for the most viewed pilot on the True TV network, and the success of the show, as they say, is history. Following the debut of the television reality series, Les gained exposure all over the U.S. as a successful businessman and certain other parts of the world, prompting him to eventually write and publish an autobiography in 2013. 
Les's book, For What It's Worth, Business Wisdom from a Pawnbroker, documented Gold's life as a successful business owner in Detroit, and also shared some of the entrepreneurial philosophies that he practiced, giving other people valuable advice on how to run a business. Ultimately, Gold's biography reached the number four spot on the New York Times bestseller list in the how-to, advice, and miscellaneous genre in June of 2013. It also achieved the number eight spot in the hardcover business category the same year, earning less as much exposure as Hardcore Pawn, and establishing him firmly as one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Michigan. Further, Les influenced many other businessmen with both his success on television and his book, including the likes of Josh Linkner, the founder and chief executive officer of ePrize. While many people might consider Les as just another selfish capitalist, the man earned a reputation in Detroit as a very charitable philanthropist. In fact, Gold is known to actively support a local Michigan organization that extends aid to less fortunate families unable to pay their utility bills, known as the Heat and Warmth Thaw Fund. In 2013, Les hosted a fundraising event in his shop called Hardcore Thaw, during which he was able to raise $40,000 for the charity. Since the conclusion of Hardcore Pond's final season in 2015, Les has moved on from the show but certainly hasn't shied away from the cameras. While many people might be wondering what the veteran pawnbroker is up to, especially concerning rumors that gold went bankrupt, it's safe to say that he's far from retirement or broke. According to rumors spread on social media, Les and his business, American Jewelry and Loan, allegedly went bankrupt in 2018, but fortunately these rumors haven't been confirmed. As per these reports, gold might have been scammed out of a little less than $500,000, but this is nothing more than speculation, as both Les and his son Seth still seem to be in business. In fact, according to the father-son duo, they invested in several business expansions for the American Jewelry and Loan franchise in 2021, opening up more shops in the cities of Southgate and Lincoln Park, both located in Michigan. As far as we can tell, business seems to be ever-increasing for the Gold family, and it certainly appears that the bankruptcy claims can be proven as false. If the Gold family really was scammed out of all that money, they never reported it to the authorities, though even if it did happen, it didn't affect business for them much at all. Although Hardcore Pawn might no longer be on air, save for maybe a couple of reruns, when asked about the possibility of producing a new season, Les seemed to express interest. However, it remains an unlikely probability, but no doubt, should the Gold family ever return to our screens, they might yet again enjoy a popular reception. Despite stepping away from the cameras in 2015, Les maintained his public profile by appearing in several of the reality television shows and competitions. Among them, Les starred in an episode of Food Network's Chopped, showing the world that he's as capable in the kitchen as he is behind the counter of a shop. Les was also a guest in the talk show League One in the Spotlight, discussing his success as a pawnbroker and what it's like to make the transition into reality television. While still keeping busy expanding his business and keeping his public profile alive, Les continues to express an active interest in charity and philanthropy. Among his most recent charitable donations and active support, Les lent a hand to the nonprofit organization Wigs for Kids, which supports young cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy treatments. Aside from that, Les seems to keep his personal life strictly private, and there isn't much else to report on him. As far as can be determined, he's still happily married to Lily, and it appears that his son Seth and daughter Ashley might one day inherit the family business, though Les's retirement doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. As for Seth, he continues to do his part for the family pawnbroking business, and in 2019, launched a digital project that could potentially revolutionize the pawn industry. Entitled Fast Pawn, it works in association with Pawnmate Inc. and is an online application that helps to simplify the loan renewal process, as well as making it easier to digitally complete payments for purchases and loan repayments. As the co-owner of the family business, Seth also contributed to the launch of new shops in Southgate and Lincoln Park. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.